quick question here, uh, sure. because you mentioned there's one big difference between uh, the Biden and Trump uh, documents yeah. case, why yep. Trump's being prosecuted and Biden isn't. But I think yeah. there are two, actually. And, and that's yeah. one. The, the one big one for me that always stands out is at no time as a senator or vice president, whether he remembers when he when he was or not, he didn't have the authority to have those documents to take them, yeah. to squirrel them away. And I feel like that one gets lost in this yeah. in this whole glob of, you know, oh, well, you know, I was being I was being helpful and I was doing this and, and he was trying to hide him and they had to raid him and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, listen, I think that's going to be one of the issues that are going to get litigated. First, they got to get through immunity. And then when the Supreme Court rules on immunity, this idea, remember that in 2012 or 2013, I can't remember the year now, in a case brought by Judicial Watch, the uh, federal judge in Washington, D.C. concluded that a president has basically an unchallengeable right to determine what are his personal papers, regardless of whether they're classified or not. We also know the executive order that George W. Bush and Obama both uh, implement it, which, by the way, is still the standing executive order now, says a president does not have to follow the normative classification rules that every other president does. Those issues have not yet been litigated in uh, the Florida case. And I think that those after, depending where the Supreme Court comes down on immunity, that the current legal precedent is, I think, from Judge Beryl Howell, if I remember correctly. And it basically says Bill Clinton could have taken anything you want and called it his personal papers, and that's right. his prerogative. Well, Donald Trump's going to try to make that argument. Probably not yet, uh, because he got to get through the immunity claims. But that is a very big difference. By the way, the vice president does not have that same capability, and certainly a United States senator doesn't have that capability. So that is still to be litigated. I agree. That's going to be a big appeals issue even before the trial start. Uh, but I think in the, in the, uh, the motive, and uh, there are two things that are missing. There's no real motive that the uh, prosecutors made why Donald Trump kept his documents. Joe Biden has a motive. He was trying to make eight million bucks on a book. Uh, there's a second thing. There's no evidence that, at least to date, that Donald Trump shared classified information with people in, in an illegal way. There's clear evidence from Robert Hurt today that he, uh, Joe Biden did that. Those are those are big. Uh, uh, evidentiary factual differences. And then I think this legal issue about where the power stands to be litigated probably will come down on the side of Donald Trump. 